Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I thought it'd be really fun to share with you guys my luxury purse haul. I think that's what it's called. Luxurious, luxury, whatever it is. I really love watching these on YouTube. This is what got me into loving YouTube. It actually it's one of like one of the first like reviews or hauls that I ever watched was a bag haul. So I thought it'd be really fun to share with you guys my collection. I have been collecting over the years, so don't just think that, oh my God, I just spent like $10,000 all at once. I don't know all the names of these bags. I'm going to try to look them up as we go, but we'll see how it goes. They range from Gucci and Louis Vuitton. I had a Chanel bag, but I did just sell it because I do have my eye on a new one. If I do end up getting that bag, let me know if you guys want to see like a reveal um, of the bag and we'll do it for you. So if you like today's video, please make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Make sure you turn on your bell notifications to be notified when we upload. I upload every single week on beauty and health and like vlogging and pretty much anything that you name it, we do it. As when I say we, me and my husband, it's kind of like our channel slash more my channel, but we'll see. And if you're wondering what this is on my face, I had a cold sore and that's why I wasn't filming for about a week and a half because it was like scabby and gross. And no, I don't have the herps because a lot of people think that cold sores are herpes, which it is a herpes simplex one, but it's not like gross. Whenever I get sick or stressed out, I'm constantly getting cold sores. So <laughs> that's why we haven't been uploading. But I hope you guys like today's video. If you like videos like this, make sure you keep watching. And I hope you know that I am in no way, shape, or form bragging or, you know, coming off as, like, spoiled or, like, you know, all those other things. And you just have to put a disclaimer in 2020 because people get offended over freaking nail popping. So make sure you guys leave me comments down below. I'll be responding to you guys. And, yeah, let's get into today's video. Okay, so we are starting off with the Louis Vuitton Pochette Accessory in the Monogram Print. So, basically, this has gold tone hardware. It has the um, Vichetta leather strap. And I've had this bag for probably, I don't even know, five years. And I do keep all my bags in these boxes behind me in their original packaging with the little sleeves. And this has patinaed over time, which if you don't know what patina means, Louis Vuitton has Vachetta leathering on their bags that are this color. And Vachetta, Vachetta leather patinas over time, which basically means it has wear and tear, and it will get darker over the years. So this is pretty much held up very well. I think it's got this little loop on it, and it has the um, LV across. It is a zipper compartment, and when you open the bag, it is this brown material, and there is a little pooch in the middle. I think this holds a pretty decent amount of stuff. You know, I have the big iPhone. And you can wear it as a wrist, a wrist, an arm, like you can wear it as a purse, you can wear it around your wrist, or you can take both of these straps off and wear it as a clutch. So this is the Louis Vuitton Pochette Accessory in Monogram Form. The next bag was my very first Louis Vuitton ever, now that I remember. And this is the Louis Vuitton po Mini Pochette Accessory, the sister well, the baby, I guess, to the pochette accessory. So, if you can tell, there's a very big size difference and a very, not big price difference. I believe at the time this was $300 U.S. And this was $500 U.S. I don't know if they've gone up. I know the price of luxury items have gone up recently in the past few years. So, you might want to check that out. I will show you. This is from 2000 and like... 13 okay this patina this has not patinaed horribly at all you can see it's a beautiful dark leather the I will say the gold hardware like on the lip of this is wearing a little bit it's it turned into silver now and I would say maybe some of the chain is a little bit but you can, you can take this off and cap it on this side. You can cap it where it is the wristlet. It is again in the monogram gold tone hardware, like I said. And when you open up the bag, oh, I have a gum wrapper. 
Again, this is the mini pochette accessory. The next Louis Vuitton item I have is the Louis Vuitton, I think it's cosmetic pouch. This is the biggest one that it had. That this is the biggest cosmetic pouch that Louis Vuitton carries. Again, it is in the monogram material. It again has the Vachetta leather on the side with gold tone hardware. Again, when you open the bag, it is dirty, so don't judge me. It has this wipeable material to it. Um, obviously, I'm not doing that good of a job of taking care of that inside, but it is what it is. But the reason I'm adding this into this purse haul is because I see a lot of people on Instagram wearing this as clutches underneath their arm, or it's like they take little cute Instas with this, and I really think this holds a lot of stuff for a purse. Me, personally, I do use this as, as you can tell, a cosmetic pouch. Um, I just don't like holding bags like this, or like underneath my arm. I just, I feel like I'm going to lose it, or I'm going to misplace it, and I just don't feel comfortable using it like that. But, this is a very nice bag, and the body is very good. I've had this ever since I graduated, so how many years ago was that? Four. Four, I've had this for four years. So, like I said, it's hold up pretty well. The Vachetta has not really patinaed. Um, so, yeah, I really like this. And this is the Louis Vuitton Cosmetic Pouch. Okay, this next bag. Oh, and I will show you. All of the bags come in this. Mine's a little dirty. This little um, dust bag that just says Louis Vuitton, and then you flip it up. And normally your purse is just right inside there. And like I said, I keep all my bags in this in their box just so that they hold their shape. And so nothing really happens to them. The next bag I'm going to show you guys, I really don't know the name for it. But I remember this bag has a very sentimental value to me. We got this bag when we were in Italy. How many years ago was that? Like four, four years ago? Um, it was a really fun trip. We went with Justin's whole family. And it really meant a lot to me that I got to bring a piece back. So that's like our tradition now. So wherever we go um, that has like Louis Vuittons or Chanel's or whatever, I try to get something to bring it back just to remember my trip by. And I do know that in Europe, and I believe Hawaii, I will let you know because we are going to Hawaii um, in September, that the purses are a little bit cheaper I don't know how Hawaii is, but I've heard this a lot, than they are in the U.S. Italy, for a fact. This bag retailed for over, after taxes, $1,000, and then I got it for, like, under $600. And then when you went to the airport, you got money back, too, when you have your receipts. So just make sure, if you travel abroad, you are able to buy luxury items brand new for a little bit less than what you'd get in the, the States. This is the Louis Vuitton Demier checkered print bag. I really don't know the name of this. It is like the pochette something. It, it goes in the push, pochette family, I'm pretty sure, but it is in the checkered print. It does have gold tone hardware all around it. It has the little Louis Vuitton Paris magnetic closure right here, and on the back it has two little, I don't know, I would say these are feet or what. It does have the gold tone chain right here, and the inside is my favorite. It is this beautiful red material. I will show you. So here is the chain that it comes with, and then it also comes with this shoulder strap, uh, no, crossbody strap. And you just hook it on to, I can't even do this, to the bag like so. And you go over the other side, wrap it around. But you can wear this as a crossbody, a shoulder bag. And I really love the fact that this came with two straps. I think it's very versatile. And none of my other bags came with two straps. So I'm able to take that off and put it on like my pochette mini if I want or the pochette accessory. And there's something in my eye. So, yeah, it is red all over. I will show you the inside. And there is a little pouch. I guess something in this. A gift card. A little pouch in there, and it does say Louis Vuitton made in France. And this is a magnetic closure. You want to just see that. Super pretty. It does say Louis Vuitton with the little feet. I really love this bag. It fits a lot of really good things. I think for the winter time, this is a great versatile bag to bring out. My next little bag, he, she's a little beat up. 
but I want to talk to you guys also about buying things um, pre-loved. And if you guys don't know what pre-loved means, it basically means buying them secondhand or used. So, as we all know, we have seen the Kardashians repping these smaller vintage bags. They did Chanel, I think they did, I think there was a Gucci inspired one, and they did Louis Vuitton. And I've seen a lot of YouTubers getting this. It was like more in the, what, when was it around? Kind of fall area. I looked for this bad boy for weeks. I searched eBay, which I don't really like buying things off eBay because it's kind of sketch balls, but I looked on eBay. I looked on Poshmark. Again, they're kind of sketchy. I looked on Fashion File. I looked every single wear for this bag, and it was retailing for seven to a thousand, seven hundred to a thousand dollars. I'm like, there's no way in heck I am paying seven hundred dollars for what I'm about to show you. So I did it on finding it. I got it for a hundred and fifty dollars. I got it off of Poshmark. I had the girl send me the receipt, the original receipt. I had her send me the, the um, what is it called? The little um, stamp number that tells you, like, the date and stuff it was made. I had her send me the authenticity, the authenticity card, all this stuff, just to make sure I did my research on it to make sure, like, hey, what does other, what does the real ones look like compared to this? And I was able to get it authenticated, authenticated, and it is one hundred percent real. It is a little beat up, but that's okay. This is a very old bag, very old, and I have to show you. Let me. And it's so cute. Like it is so cute. Okay, this is the people are gonna make fun of me, but I don't care. The Louis Vuitton Monogram Speedy Mini. Now, the Speedy is the most classic Louis Vuitton bag ever. If you are going to get start a collection, you have to get a Speedy, in my opinion. Because that's where it really started for Louis Vuitton. And I just, I love the Speedies. So, as we can tell, this has very patinaed. It is a dark leather vachetta. Comparing... Leathers. This is a lot darker. I can get this fixed if I wanted to, but you know what? I like that it looks vintage. Here is the strap. It, it it's very patina. If you can tell, the I'm gonna get this sewn. For some reason, the zipper was ripped a little bit, mm -hmm. but it really doesn't matter to me. Um, you can still open it just fine. I'm gonna get it fixed. I think. But I don't really care. You know what? I got my hands up for $150. I was like, oh my God. So it is in the monogram once again. And it does have that just classic, I've changed in here, um, brown leather. It doesn't have a little key hook on there like some of them do. But it was in gold tone hardware, but obviously that has, hence, it's still kind of gold, but. But yeah, I think this is like a cute little thing. If I ever have a kid, which who knows, and it's a girl, I'm going to put this in her little nursery and it can sit on her little stand. And yeah, it's just so cute. So this is the Louis Vuitton Mini Speedy. Talking about Speedies, I did go ahead before I had gotten this one. This one is a little bit older. And picked up the Speedy 25. This is a bigger bag, and it does have the Louis Vuitton brand all over it. It does have the Vachetta leather. These straps are still in pretty good condition. Um, it has the Vachetta zip pouch, and it does have this little hole right here, and that is for um, the lock and key, which I never keep on here. But. And then when you open it up, oh, I have some stuff in here. I like to stuff this because I don't use it a lot, so I stuff it with just some of the old the dust bags. But when you open up the bag, you can see that it has that material again throughout it. It has this little open compartment that is wipeable. And it has a little D-ring. It has a D-ring on here that you can, you can put your keys on. So it's basically the same bag as the other one, but... This is the Speedy 25 in monogram. Okay, so the next bag that I'm going to bring out to you is, I feel like this is a boss babe, bring to work bag. You know, you're going to dominate the city with this. So this is the Alma Louis Vuitton in monogram. Like, this bag is amazing. In the color beige. I love this bag. It is like a shiny 
brick house. It ain't going nowhere. And I did end up putting the lock from the Speedy on here because I thought it just looked cuter. And I keep this kind of stuffed because I want it to um, keep its shape. But it does have the, like a cream material in here. There's a pocket here and a little pocket here. It does say Louis Vuitton made in France. And yeah, it holds a lot of stuff. You can put your, your folders in this, your iPad, your notes, whatever you need. It is just a really pretty bag. Um, I'm thinking, I don't know. I'm not going to sell it, but I don't know. I just never use it. It's just so pretty to look at. I always have it displayed in my closet. So if you don't know what's behind me, I have these built-ins in my beauty room. And I have all my purses displayed, or the boxes anyway, but this one always is displayed out and ready to shine. So again, the Alma. Thanks. Next purse, which you guys have seen, if you haven't, I will link it down below. My Louis Vuitton Palace bag. I really do like this bag. I also feel like it is a work bag. I kind of bent it a little bit because I have it put in um, the box. But it's fine. It'll get its shape. It does come with a shoulder strap in the monogram form. If you guys want to see that. I did get this one off of Fashion File and I got it for a really good price. The inside is this beautiful like pinkish red and it does come with a big little um, pouch and it has two other little pouches inside. This one is Louis Vuitton made in Spain. It does have the little ringlet for your keys it is in the gold tone hardware and what I really and you these things are for the um shoulder strap and this bag has patina very beautifully I personally feel and it has two little magnetic compartments huge compartments for basically whatever you want magnetic closure and it's just a beautiful bag and I really do I do love this bag. It's like, I don't know. I just, I think it's a great bag. So this is the Louis Vuitton Palace in monogram. My next bag is a Louis Vuitton must, just like the Speedy. Every collector of Louis Vuitton has to have a never full. This is another classic Louis Vuitton bag. I have it in the monogram. I think this is a trend. I love monogram. But you can tell that this has just patina so freaking beautifully. I mean, the bag is in amazing condition. It, I do have it in this beautiful hot pink. Inside it has a little, again, has a, I can't even get it, ringlet for your keys. Can you see it? A little bit, yeah. Sorry if it's hard to see. It has a pouch, my person, a pouch in the middle um, with a closure. This has a closure on the top so your stuff doesn't fall out, but I'm like, it doesn't really prevent anything from falling out, but okay. Um, now what's cool is, I don't know, I do this right. You can change the bag shape. I probably really butchered that, but you can change it to whatever you like. So that's a really cool feature on this. I really do think that you have to get a, if you get a Louis Vuitton, you have to get the Speedy and you have to get the number full, at least in your bag collection. So again, this is the Louis Vuitton Never Full in the monogram. But this bag is the Louis Vuitton um, MM. And is it really ne never full? Yes, it's never full. And my next bag is the Louis Vuitton uh, Demi Azor white checkered print bag. Now this is in the PM, which I believe is the biggest size. There's like a, a baby, the MM, and I think the PM, or maybe I'm switching it all around. But I know. So again, this has patinaed beautifully. Like what these. Patina. These bags just don't go out of its condition, I feel. I mean, I really, truly feel that it is a lot of money, but you know what? It's totally, totally worth it. Now, this bag has a little bit more um, shape to it because I've 
closed it so many times. And again, has that closure on it. This bag is kind of beat up. Closure. Is that your dog's bag? Mm -hmm. Um. This bag is kind of beat up because I take it to the airport all the time. And I, this is just my travel bag, so I really do beat it up. But this is like the original inside. Oh, it's so dirty. I don't even want to show you. Okay. Why don't it, you put Moana in there? It's bag? just dirty. But um, it has like our Disney magic bands. We stayed at the Polynesian, so we have these. But it does have the same. It has the open compartment like the other one. This one is just all beige. And this actually is great for dogs. So I'm going to demonstrate really quickly on how this is good for dogs. So I always put this towel in it for my baby. And we say this is her purse. Whenever I say you want to go shopping, she knows that we're going shopping and we're going to put her in the bag. So come here. Eggs. I go normally. Okay, this is how she sits. There we go. Like this. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? So, <laughs> this is how she sits, and we go shopping, and we do whatever. Say, eight pound dog, and this is her bag now. Here, we want to go. I know. Normally she loves it, but she doesn't like being on camera. So yeah, I really do love this bag, and I'm not torturing my animals, so I don't want to hear any animal people on here saying, oh my god, your dog doesn't like it. No. She does love it, so I don't want to hear it. So yeah. I said before to show you guys that and she was sitting right here. So the Demi A I mean, in white checker print. Alright, the last bag of the day. My final bag for you guys is a birthday present that Justin got me for my 21st birthday, which was a super surprise. And it was so nice of him to step out of the Louis Vuitton game and try to adventure new bags. So this is the Gucci Marmont in Gucci velvet. Gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Oh my God. So you wear this a few ways. One, you can wear it over the shoulder. You can wear it cross-bodied like so. Cross-bodied. But we have the GGs in the front, and when you open the bag, oh, it's stuffed. <laughs> okay, well, it just has this, it has, like, so much stuff in here that I'm not taking out. But it just has, like, my wallet. This is what's in my bag. It has a compartment in here. And, yeah, it has a little closure, like so. It's a clasp. A clasp. Man. So, yeah, I really like this bag. It's really freaking dirty. I just got to I gotta get this clean, but I use this all winter long. It's just so easy to grab and go with this bag. So that's why I like it. <sighs> all right, you guys, so that was my entire purse collection. If you guys like this video, leave me a comment. And if you wanna see another video showing you guys my small other goods, let me know and I will do that. I just have, it's just too much to do all of it with this. I don't even know how long this video is by now. but. I just wanted to come on here and show you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please make sure you subscribe and join the family. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.